Feels good to get in tight spots, aren't you? Oh, mate, I've been getting in tight spots all my life. But getting out of them has been the difficulty. Well, guys, a little bit extra excitement. Brad's very nervous. Yeah, Brad's a bit. We've been waiting on these bearings for two months. One box came from town and... Another one was sent via Express that we didn't know about, and uh, we're just making sure they're the right ones. So, if Brad very nervous. if Brad faints, they're the wrong ones. <laughs> well, that's that looks it. That's uh, four thirty, uh, four twenty. Oh no, he's, they've muddled them up. It's not right, eh? That's a 436. What was this one? Uh, Four, at the end. 436. No, no, just the part number, the New Holland part number. So it's not quite right, or what do mm, we think? No. No. Displeased. Hmm. Very displeased. Well, it's not another two months, is it? Well, well. Come back. I'm just going to hold off on ripping this all apart until we sort out exactly what's going on, but we'll, uh, we'll be back. Well, just like that, we've got it all off. We've just done it recently, so we've um, got the wheel off. But anyway, Brad's driving us pretty hard, so there's not much footage going on. He's got the whip out. So, yeah, we found out that we do have enough parts to continue um, for this one side, which is the important side. Um, but it looks like when they were packaged, someone has opened up one bearing assembly and taken the outer cone. Which, um, yeah, we've got one part number, the same part number, and it's bearing assembly and it's got the cone, and then this one's all wrapped up without one. So I'd say someone's flogged it for something else and just put it back on the shelf somewhere and well, for whatever reason. Oil. So look, yeah, look at that. How much? Oh, there's only a little bit of shiny stuff in it. Someone, someone put a bit of glitter in it. <laughs> I don't quite know exactly what we're going to find in there. Probably shouldn't be. It wouldn't be as bad as the first time. There's not as much movement in there as when we first had to when we put the second end bearings in. But uh, that's true. Um, do you want to just grab the Allen key for that then? <laughs> With your camera, of course, guys. Yeah. No, he's he's driving us pretty hard. I've got it. Got to get back on the dozer for you guys tomorrow. It's not really for you, sorry folks. I'm just trying to make you feel special. <laughs> you don't make me feel special. I've got, I've got responsibilities. Because um, the painful bit is we've got to try and get this off too. Oh what? <laughs> oh, because of the seal. Yeah. We didn't have to do that last time. Uh, we've got that new shaft. So we don't have more than two. Yeah, there should be two. I think we know a new fire extinguisher. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. I don't want to test it. Closely. Well, it's no good if it doesn't work, but... I think uh, that's, that's, that's a... You better let Dad know that one. He can, he can obsess about fire extinguishers. <laughs> Well, we'll uh, keep you updated in a bit. We're going to get messy, I think. I've got the nut on. Uh, you just need to pull as hard as you can. But <gasps> when it does go, it'll go like about an inch for you. 
Oh, that went. Oh, serious? Yep. Sewed my, <laughs> sewed my elbow. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that went good. <laughs> oh, well, that's exciting. I thought we were going to be sweating away there for ages. Not no, 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 That's heavy, so I'll just that. Oh. Yeah, I'll just, I, I think I'll be doing it. You reckon? Let me pay for this. A bit bare. Oh yeah, get a dip oil yeah, coming through. Do we have a seal for that? Yeah. Oh guys, we've made some progress. Now it's just time for cleaning. And we've got rain happening, so that's lovely. Hopefully the cotton's getting some. It's final drive we're doing. The problem with them is they don't um, have any shim adjustment as far as the preload on your bearings or having end float so they're a bit loose so what I'm doing is I've pulled the part of it off and I'm just going to dial this up get a bit of running true and then machine about I'm thinking five foul out of here which will push the um, bearing in a little bit further so that's my strategy anyway I don't know if that's the right way or not but anyway you can't adjust them so we're just going to improvise here. Looks like there's a bit of warpage in there. I'll show you. So that's about three thou. Yeah, it's just a little bit of warp in that bit, so I think they'll be cl pretty close by the time I get her back in there. I'll just double check on, I'll do a measurement here just to make sure we're pretty close. Yeah, so we're pretty much within a, a thou there now. So each little black line is one thou, one thousandth of an inch. So we're, we're very, very close. So I'm, I'm happy enough with that. depth gauge so I've got about six six there there it's a bit of a gonna be a bit of a guessing game as far as what I need so I may have to like dummy as well I probably will I'll dummy and send it put it together see how much of a movement I've got and then if I need to take a bit more off I'll have to so I don't think there's any other way of working it out. Not that I know of anyway. I'm sure there is up there. So yeah we've just put a little step in there now so that'll let this protrude through a little bit further and push that bearing in just a whisker more. Good afternoon folks. Matt said I could pick up the video and get a bit of a update of what's going on. Just been helping Brad here doing one of these double universal joints on the drive shaft to the uh, front axle on the 280 and because the parts are so hard to get we're trying to get this shaft out with, without damaging the universal so we can use it again and I've never pulled a universal off ever in my life with the view of keeping it and putting it back in so 
gas axe and all that sort of stuff is usually the way to go. But it's requiring a bit more um, thought. Hey? We're tight ones. Well, no, it's not even that. I no, wish we well, could. I could have ordered them. Yeah, but. But they're $800 eight for eight one uni. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well nearly $1,000 has not been a tight one, is it? Well, that's just one uni. Anyway, so. what we, we got Matt. I don't know what he's doing here. What are you doing? Oh. Well, I've got, got that bush to go in there, but I've got to get, got to get the old one out first. Oh, right. So there's only a real little lip on the inside, so I'm uh, battling away with the slide hammer. But I can't get this mechanism to work and put enough pressure on there, so... Yeah, well, there is a new one of these that we got. Oh, now, you, now I'm told that. <laughs> I think it went down to the development block. Yes. So... Well, that's helpful. Maybe, maybe so we could take this and turn it down in the lathe and just get a, a nice finish on it again. Yeah, I did. I got it on the grinder there and just that. But what's happening here is these have been ground off to fit. Yeah. Two of these have been ground off to fit somewhere, and then they're, they're just bending. So. They've been they've been Bradley fired. Yeah, I reckon so. All right. So, so anyway, I'm not sure what I'm doing now. Maybe I'll have to attack it with. I don't know. I don't really want to use a reciprocating saw to split we, it in half. With, we, <laughs> with well, all the, well, I suppose we'd we have could. to drain the dip. We could. We might have to have a cup of tea afternoon. We've just had a shower. We've never done that, have we? No, we'd, we never have. We, you, you, you stopped doing that once <laughs> I stopped running the show. <laughs> well, we never did it <laughs> back then. We've had a shower yeah, of rain about a couple of hours ago, folks. Um, oh, about 10 mil. So uh, that's the first significant rain we've had for probably six or eight weeks, I reckon. But all the cotton's going off. Um, a few open bowls. Uh, still some late flowers. But. Uh, yeah, it's coming in good. It's been the nights have cooled down now. The days have been warm, but um, I've heard a bit of whinging. I've heard a bit of whinging over here from Phil complaining about Brad not looking at this year. What's going on here, Phil? What do you What do you say? Oh, I'm just Maybe. never mind. I'm just saying how good you are and oh, right. having a crack at doing these difficult jobs oh. without blaming anyone for leaving you the the bad jobs. Oh, yeah, well, this is what happened when I come back from the dozer, because we got rained out. Yeah, he was on the dozer, doing some earthworks. The rain just fell right over the top of him. And so he had to squirrel and squirm his way home, and it's still a couple of hours left in the day, so he's getting under the vehicle. This vehicle, the um, steering went real hard when it was warm, and apparently the powers that be tell us that there's a, a pre the pressure hose is the problem. Now, it doesn't make sense to us that it's the pressure one, we would have thought the suction, but anyway. So, yeah, that end's good to get off. This yep. end here is a little bit interesting. Oh, righto. Anyway. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what I'll do, Phil, I'll make it look real the, difficult. I'll make it... When you take the camera off, it would be able to help me then. No, no I'll, what I'll do, I'll go like this, I'll turn it upside down, and everyone will think, what a wonderful guy you are doing all this, see? Because it won't make sense from upside down and sideways. See, folks, it's real difficult. He's worth more money. Oh. You need to talk to the boss about that. Talk to the boss, yeah. Which dictator one or dictator two? It's your turn to shine today. My turn to shine. That's good. Yeah. How are you going? Yeah, not too bad. And what have we just given this this hub and the the final drive a bit of a shine up? We'll give it a wash. Try and make sure the metal's out of it. And... Okay. Is there anything significant in here that we should take note of? Uh, no, not that I've looked. There's some. Um, it looks to be a fair bit of wear on the edge here, Joe. Do you know, the, have the boys said, is that where the gears have just been rubbing on the hub? Oh, I don't know. Notice this here? Oh, yeah, the difference in colour. Yeah. yeah. It's been rubbing. I reckon that those bearings, as they've collapsed, that's sort of gone sideways, and they've just been scuffing the edge of that. I mean, there's still a little bit of metal on that sump plug. Yes. Anyway, we had terrible trouble getting the, the parts, didn't we? And now they arrived this morning and they weren't all there, were they? So I don't think we can do both both sides, just one side at the moment. But it's been, what, six, eight plus weeks, hasn't it, getting up these parts? Eight weeks. Be at least, wouldn't it? Start of the year at least. So, so we've been limping along. <laughs> anyway, and there's a, a little project that I've been going through with a bit of squirrel juice, l lubing up joints and uh, pivots and whatever, see if we can make it work. The engine and transmission are really quite quite nippy but 
she's a bit of a bit neglected inside the dear old darling but anyway it should be good for an auger and uh, other things I reckon um, I think that's it we'll, um, we'll we'll leave it with Matt to fill in the update you still want you still want me to coach you Phil you want want a bit of coaching or a bit of assistance Oh, mate, I've been getting in tight spots all my life. But getting out of them has been the difficulty. Anyway, what are, how are we going, Brad? You're still waiting I've got for me? No idea, yeah. Right, I'm going to cut it. It doesn't work. Sorry, folks, <laughs> I, I just cut you off a bit too quick there. I, Brad was onto a brainwave. Oh, we, we're getting a bit. I don't think so. Well, I think it is a brainwave. But he's saying what he's going to. Look at this. He's got the. He's got the angle grinder, he's going to cut the yoke right here yeah, and that cup. Show him there, you've got the and, camera up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah show him you, <laughs> you hold it and I'll, I'll explain. So, he's going to cut that off there, which will then allow these cups with the, that part of the housing to drop off because he's already got a new one of these. Yes, you that's the issue. We've got you know the what? new shaft. I think that's brilliant. Which is here. So, the only problem with doing this is I'm committed to that shaft fitting, and I have measured it, and well, it seems to work. So, well, we, that's what we do with Brad, yeah. we commit. Oh, yeah. and, and the other thing is, too, is which we don't know, which will be exciting, was will we be able to get those cups in? Yeah, because we can push them in. See? We can push them in. See, I think he's quite. I think he takes after his mother, this boy. He's got some ideas. So let's see, Sparks. Turn fly. away all of you uh, right engine up. shops. Yeah, so none of that now. That's it, folks. He's into it now. We'll catch up with you later. He's done his nasty work. Look yeah. at this. What a butcher. What a butcher. It's very upsetting. All to try and save 800 bucks. And you'll get it open and you'll see there's all... It was a bad decision, guys. It's probably Benelli already, is it? Mm. No, they're not. They're bits. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, I should have just, you know... It's already a $16,000 job, so... I guess, what's another four? Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it worked, Brad. You got her out. It's, it is in good nick. It is in good nick. We've just got to clean them up. Yeah, no. Proper and I reckon you'd be right. You'd be right. Turn them into grazable. <laughs> well, how would you how would you drill them? Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. And Brad, what do you reckon about your... You were pretty passionate about the purchase of this. This is one of your little babies, wasn't it? This thing's awesome. It's uh, awesome. Hadn't let you down, you... Quality is a bit average on a couple of things, but yep. this uh, this end boss end pressing is awesome. Because this is uh, 18 ton, isn't it? This one. Yeah, 15 uh, or something. Yeah. Yep. I use it all the time. Yeah. Probably 10 times, and I'd use that once, I reckon. Yeah. But gee, it's so, good that having that one when oh you need yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, guys, just about knock off time for me anyway. Don't know what are you doing, Brad? Yeah. Got to <laughs> burn the candle. <laughs> um. But we're making progress. Brad's um, just a bit time consuming with the uni joint, trying to swap that yoke and shaft over because we ended up with a new shaft there. Um, and we're just, I finally we had, got. We had very much trouble with the uni. Yes. And we're not, we didn't want to show it because there was a bit of dodgy stuff. It but was extreme. Well, we're it, very happy with the result. It, it's, result. Not, it's not that we didn't show it because it's that dodgy, it's probably that we were panicking that. We were going to be without a tractor for a few few more no, weeks. It was I didn't want to. <laughs> I was will we tell them? Will we tell them what we did? No. In no. No, no I was too ashamed. Well, we can't. <laughs> well, we'll have a sneak peek. No. no, no. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Barry, one of the Barry. one one of the one of the rollers may have fallen out while putting it together. And, to get the cone back out, we had to use some pullers, and yeah, that, that's that's about the extent of that. But anyway, we got there, and that's I think it's good. And we saved the uni. We saved the uni, so we're we're all all good. And I got the new bush and seal in here, so that is good. And we're about to put the axle in, so and then we'll be. Yeah, Brad's got those. 
all new. I think where a lot of our metal was coming from by the looks of it was because it collapsed the um, outer, what do you call it, the outer ring gear, the outer, uh, what do you call that? That bit? Yeah, the bit that goes around the planetaries. Oh, yeah, that's your, uh, you what's it? Not your sun gear. Yeah, your sun gears, them ones. Or well, pinion gears, those are, the, the big bell gear. <laughs> I don't know. The big one that goes what, around what there. In the comments, anyway, guys. yeah. Anyway, it, it was rubbing on that, um, and yeah, it would have been making a bit of metal. So that's where, yeah, when we were doing the dodge and putting so second-hand bearings and in it. You, <laughs> and when you did that, it definitely went home, you heard the tint. Yeah, yeah. That's not good at all. It wasn't that loose when I put it in there. Mm. Anyway, might have to deal with that. We've also had um, the bush, the bush in this one here was spinning, so we've put a, a bit of retaining compound on that. Um, that one's in there. So, yeah, and then we've got to sort that one out, and we're just yeah ready to put the axle in. you guys tomorrow I think I'm gonna be a little late tomorrow so how much are you gonna get done before I get here? Just you story. <laughs> Just you story. <laughs> no, right righto. See what happens. <laughs>